it's been a long time coming that I'm going to teach this course because ever since the beginning of my business coaching, my marketing consulting, I've been working with clients on how to basically describe the work that they do to the public through their marketing. Now, uh, I haven't taught this course before because I'll be honest with you, I have for a long time, for those of you who have been following my content, you may remember or recall that for a long time, I've been talking about how, um, you know, hold lightly to your professional title and the description of your work. I believe that still, and I still do it myself, and I still encourage clients to do it. However, I've been saying that same message for, gosh, probably probably 10 years. And again and again and again, my ideal clients, the people who I love working with, still come back and say, I understand, George, we got to hold lightly to what we, to the description of our work. And yet it is unsent, it's, it feels ungrounded until we come to at least an initial description that resonates with us and with our own audience. And so I've been kind of avoiding, um, yeah, I've been avoiding it because I, I kept on being fixated on this idea of holding lightly to it. And you know what? I, I'm following my own advice, <laughs> my own marketing advice, which is to meet people where they're at. To, to not just give them what I think they need, but to give them what they want while also delivering what I believe is truly helpful for them. So that's what this course is. And I'm excited for those of you who are watching this and who are interested in this course to perhaps take part in this experience with me and with the group of students. A bunch of students have already signed up as of this recording. And so looking forward to really creating a, a community, a little com private course community around this. All right, so let me, just, let me explain how I am holding these two concepts of, on the one hand, we are, inf is what I believe truly, is we are infinitely, uh, our potential is infinite. And the work that you would consider to be your calling or your authentic business is ever unfolding and always becoming clearer and clearer to you as you continue to learn yourself, but also to work with your clients and discover, oh, there are certain aspects of the work that you particularly love and certain aspects that you're not going to go more deeply into because it's it's not it doesn't light you up so the more you keep going in your business the more you learn about yourself and your work and that's why on the one hand we need to keep the lightness about our description so that we can continue evolving it that's true at the same time you'll probably continue to feel ungrounded and resistant towards doing some of your marketing like your content your website sharing your website proudly uh, and you know when you're getting introduced on a podcast and someone's interviewing you or or you're introducing yourself to a group you'll always have this kind of like driving with the brakes on feel it's like you can't quite go into full flow and so I believe that it's possible to do the work in a sort of a focused and community-based way, which I'll talk about shortly why I think this course experience is special, to do the work of coming to a, a, a description of your work, your professional title, your about page, your bio, your introduction, when people ask you, so what do you do? When potential clients ask you, when potential colleagues and referral sources, people who could refer business to you, ask you, hey, so tell us what you do. Tell me what you do for a living. That you have an, a, a response that, uh, that you really resonates with you, that you're proud to say, and that resonates with the ideal 
client and the ideal colleague and they say, oh, wow, I want to know more. I want to learn more. So I think it's possible to have both these things. You have that description, you do the work, you have the description, and then at the same time, you allow it to continue evolving because now you know how to do the work of setting it, setting it down, right? To at least have a grounded uh, introduction. Um, so I'm really excited to, to walk you through, to facilitate with, uh, for, for you and among a community, uh, a series of exercises that will get you to that place that you, where you feel grounded and resonant uh, about your own description, about your work, your, like I said, your, your bio, your about page on your website, which is one of the most important pages people read, your, you know, the, the story that matters to you and matters to them, your ideal client and your ideal colleague. So your bio, uh, which is more of a shorter thing that you can put into, um, you know, at the end of articles or uh, at the end of your sales pages or when you're being introduced on a podcast or something like that. Your bio, your about page, your homepage video. We're also going to uh, create that together. Um, you'll be doing it along with everybody else doing it too. And you'll be able to give each other feedback, your homepage video. Uh, and I'm going to update mine. Finally, it's been years, but I'm going to use this course myself. I always use my own uh, techniques to update my homepage video as well, based on the, the things that we're going to work together. So, and as well as your professional title, which is what goes into your LinkedIn uh, headline and also on your Zoom video. And I'm, I'm gonna update my professional title too, <laughs> actually through this experience. It may, it may change uh, away from you know, authentic business coach, we will see. And, um, and then finally, your media kit. What's a media kit? It sounds, it's a fancy phrase for basically a web page. It could be a web page or it could be a PDF document or both. Mine's simply a web page where I, I send this web page on to uh, people who want to interview me or bring me into uh, teaching for their audience or whatever it may be, where they can get some photos of me, you know, my, my, my chosen photos, my bios, um, you know, questions to ask me, that kind of thing. So it's a very practical course um, because like I said, we're gonna accomplish these, we're gonna create these assets in your business, uh, in community. And so the community aspect, uh, let me talk about that and why I'm particularly excited about it. First of all, if you've ever tried doing this work of describing your, your, um, you know, your, your business and the deep and diverse work that you do, that's part of the, by the way, that's part of this project. It's part of this course is it's the more you feel like it's hard to describe the depth and the breadth of your work the more this course will be a revelation, I think. Um, but even if you think you have a pretty good description, eh, you may decide to join us and further refine all these things. Um, but I know a lot of you, I've worked with a lot of you say, it's hard to put the, 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 the experience, the experiential nature of my work into words, into an introduction, especially because you have been you have studied multiple tools and uh, fields and to kind of integrate that together into a, into a coherent and resonant description is quite a challenge. If you've done it by yourself, you know, it's really, really, it can be really tough and isolating. And what's the option? Well, usually you end up working with a copywriter or a branding consultant, and they're wonderful to work with. Yet they, you know, the ones that are quite experienced will charge you a couple thousand dollars to do this work, a couple thousand bucks to do this work. And I, I think it's reasonable for them to charge that, to, to do this kind of integration and descript, descriptive uh, type of work. And yet here's my, I have a, a few complaints about that. I, 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 I have friends who do this kind of work, but I'll just say, it might not be the right fit for you if you, number one, say, gosh, a couple thousand dollars to do this work sounds like a, a big investment, okay? Maybe I'll get George's course, which is a lot, a lot less than that. You can look below this video uh, to see the price is a lot less than what you would work with a copywriter for, number one. Number two, when you're working with a copywriter, you are pretty much just working with you and that person's opinion. Now, they might 
if they're community minded, might encourage you to do certain exercises to get feedback from your ideal clients and from your colleagues, okay, from your niche mates even. And that's wonderful. And yet it's you, you know, getting an assignment from the copywriter or the branding expert and then going to do the do the work. Whereas in this course, there's already a built-in um, discussion area underneath each lesson, in the, underneath each exercise. We're gonna we're gonna do this work in a series of step-by-step -step exercises. So underneath each exercise, you already have this kind of built-in private discussion area where it's other people like you who are psychologically savvy, spiritually um, interested, spiritually grounded, spiritually passionate people, more heart-based people, people that I tend to draw into my audience, authentic business owners. Um, many of us are solopreneurs, injured spirits, I would say. Um, so you're in this, in this wonderful private discussion area underneath each lesson. And my, my course lessons are actually usually quite um, active in terms of the discussion. So you get to find others and I'm going to encourage um, the, 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 the connections between you and other people to actually give feedback to each other. So instead of you having to go reach out and trying to get feedback, it's already, you're, you're coming into this group of people who already want to give feedback to each other. And so you have a lots of potential colleagues here, maybe even some potential clients, but certainly some potential referral sources to your work. Uh, niche mates, you know, people who share a similar niche, probably. I have a lot of, in, in my groups, typically there are a lot of uh, people with coaching backgrounds, with healing backgrounds, mentoring, consultants, uh, speakers, um, facilitators, and uh, people who basically are, are working in some way with personal development, professional development, healing, and um, transformation, personal transformation. So, this is why I'm excited about this course. It's not only a series of step-by-step -step exercises um, that I will motivate you, inspire you with little short videos to, to give you the exercises and you will be in this community, the private community of people to connect with and to discuss. And people often say that uh, the, the, the fellow students in my courses, getting to know them is well worth the price of admission, even with, you know, regardless of whether, whatever George says, right, the exercises we do, whatever, but the, but the community that's focused on these topics and on these exercises. So if this sounds genuinely exciting to you, and only if it does, then I hope you'll join us. And you can look, um, a, you know, on the descript, the course description page to find the price and uh, all the other details about the course. Like I said, I think it's a I've priced it at a way that I think it's a really, really good deal compared to the alternative of doing this work with a, a good copywriting expert or a branding consultant. Now they do amazing work too, but maybe, maybe you will work with those people at some point, but by doing this work first, you're going to be a lot less frustrating for them too. Plus you may decide that you don't need to, you can just you know, do it yourself going forward, not yourself, do it within a community of this because once you enroll in this course you've got lifetime access to it and there will be new people coming into this course on a regular basis and um, you'll get new potential uh, feedback buddies and accountability buddies and uh, niche mates potential referral sources so i uh, really look forward to seeing if you're going to join us for this and if you don't that's fine i really hope you have a way yourself that you enjoy of coming to a description uh, of your introduction, you know, that, that you, uh, that you like, because um, obviously I'm not the only one who, who talks about this stuff. So uh, whether you learn it from me or from somebody else or learn it on your own, I hope you have that way of describing yourself that feels good, that feels really right in your gut that this is, yes, this is a good description for now. Uh, of, of what I do. That's the key for now. And it continues to evolve. Um, there is no magic. I'll, I'll say this one last thing before I go. There's no magic formula for how to do it right. What I'm going to give you in this course is a series of exercises that I feel is the most reasonable way uh, to go through with it. But 
um, throughout the course, you'll also uh, be encouraged. I'll, I'll be encouraging you to, um, yes, do this exercise. And if you find a different way of getting to this answer that feels right, and you'll be seeing examples, lots of examples from your fellow students in the, in the course that will might inspire you um, to, to doing it uh, in a way that feels really right to you. So anyway, you'll get lots of good guidance and helpful community in this thing. Uh, but I, whether or not you take it, I really wish you well. And thank you so much for watching this. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thanks.